How's it going guys? Hopefully you can hear me well. So basically this is going to be a live commentary talking about, well not really, it's more of a, a showcase of all my trophies and the progression that I have made already. I think it was uh, maybe seven years with this account and uh, as you can see I'm on the 18 level on the PlayStation 16%, total of almost 3000 trophies and uh, 21 Platinums, 130 uh, Gold, uh, almost 500 Silver, and 2,338 of the Bronze Trophies. So while we dive in, you can already see my recent games that have popped up with the through, uh, you know, few of the trophies. Uh, it's the Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and yes indeed, I actually have purchased a season, a season pass sort of thing for it. So I will definitely get all of this that you can see, and also that I presume will be episode 3 as well, of the Legacy of the First Blade, I believe so. And I will be getting 100% on that, so this is going to be 100% completion for sure. But that will take a while until, uh, until then, I think it's coming out like March or April, now it's January. So, uh, by the way, Happy New Year as well, before we do continue, and uh, hopefully you have already checked out my most anticipated games of 2019 and beyond. If you have not, links down below in the description, I highly, highly, highly suggest for you and recommend for you to check it out. It's pretty damn fantastic. Anyway, next one. Marvel Spider-Man, I have gotten all the DLCs and the completion of 100% absolutely everything. It's pretty simple. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, it's not even really difficult about them. Black Ops 4, if you have not noticed or did not know, trophies and this is ridiculous and I did not bother going for the other trophies in here and I do have the season pass or black, blackout pass, whatever it's called. And uh, so basically, as you can see, the trophies in here are insane and the completion rate and the percentage as far as it says, it's very difficult, like it's just not worth the time. Next, next up is Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm not gonna go uh, bother going 100% completion of the trophy because it does not respect your time. And plus there's just, you know, it's, there's too much stuff to do that repeats itself. It's extremely repetitive. It's boring. I don't want to play it. In fact, I think that Grand Theft Auto V is a better game than Red Dead Redemption 2 overall about anything in standards. Online, multiplayer, single player, Grand Theft Auto does it better, in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, next up, Storm Boy. I think it was just the purchase I have made only, yes it is, only for the Platinum Trophy. I do not know why the hell did I go for the Platinum Trophy on this. Don't ask me. <laughs> but anyway, you can see that it's uh, the rate of a Platinum Trophy is pretty damn simple. Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition was the PlayStation uh, Plus. Um, free game i decided to go with the most hardest difficulty to play through in the story that's it and i finished it and i never got back to it destiny 2 i have gotten the forsaken but i'm not bother i'm not gonna bother with the annual annual passes they're uh, complete failures in my opinion and that uh, forsaken was a much better game i still actually have not played through the last wished raid i probably will get that around uh doing a very very soon or actually maybe never because like last time i played destiny 2 was like probably Two months ago, maybe more now, three months. Uh, I think Forsaken came out like in September, I believe so. And uh, it's just not very motivating for me to play this game no longer. So uh, next up is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I've gotten this game, I have enjoyed it. I didn't bother going for the season pass or whatever it was. To, uh, and uh, I just played the game on, I think it was difficult, uh, hard difficulty or whatever, and I just finished it. It was fun, I definitely enjoyed it. And uh, I think it was just a very bad timing for it to be released at that moment as well. Uh, Heavy Rain uh, was a free game design, got it, so I played it through, got it 48%. Shout of the Classes, I actually did not like the game, I personally did not. A lot of people I know um, actually have liked it a lot. I don't blame them, I can, I can see why they liked it, but me personally I just did not bother going through even finishing the game. Maybe if I do end up finishing it then I'll like it. And uh, my opinion may change. Beyond Two Souls, similar story. I think it was a free game, I believe so. I have finished it. It was good. Not as good as any other... Um, what's the name? David Cage? Is that the guy's the developer? I think I think it's David Cage, right? Anyway, Battlefield 1 uh, was a lot of fun. Played a hard difficulty of a single player. Uh, as you can see, I do not have Battlefield 5, by the way. And I did not bother going for it good choice i don't know why i can everyone can like i can see the future that it's gonna be a shitty game and it really was shitty at the first at day one 
I presume it will be much better by March when that uh, Battle Royale mode will be out, whatever it's called, or Firestorm thing, whatever. <laughs> Far Cry 5, there's so many DLCs, I did not bother going through any of them, and I was right with that decision making. I think Lost of Mars was actually very good, a lot of people liked it. God of War as you expected, of course you everyone will be going for it for the Platinum, and uh, well I definitely was one of them anyway. Assassin's Creed Origins, similar thing, got all the DLCs as well, and I'm gone for the Platinum and 100% completion. Ratchet and, Clank, Ratchet, sorry, and Clank was just a free game, I've decided to play it through, I have finished it, it was fun, and I got about a game back to it to be honest. Rhyme, I think it might have been a free game game but i do not remember it knack do not like it not very good eh, finished it that's all batman but that's the telltale series and if you did not know telltale got shut down very bad way of actually getting shut down as well and uh yeah telltale series they're all very easy with the platinum trophies do sex mankind divided was a free game i did not like the way it feels the gameplay felt crap just like red Dead redemption gameplay feels crap and um, I just did not cope with it any longer. Um, Watch Dogs 2, uh, by the way, controls of the gameplay I'm talking about, not the gameplay in general, okay? Don't get that twisted. Watch Dogs 2, I have definitely enjoyed. I even said to myself, before the game was even launched, I'm gonna go for the Platinum, and I did deliver on that, and it was hella fun. If you did not know, Watch Dogs 3 uh, most likely will be coming out in 2019 if you um, will be revealed at the E3, or even earlier in fact, I want to say. So I cannot wait for that. Horizon Zero Dawn, I have gotten almost every other 100% uh, completions, except the new game plus one you need to play on the most hardest difficulty, I think was hardcore, whatever it was. Uh, Call of Duty World War II, I think that's from a, a friend, I've just played a few matches and that's that. And I, I just, like, I, I have finished a single player of it on a PC. And so I did not bother going for a, uh, you know, a PlayStation version of it. And I just, pff, it wasn't very good in my opinion. Metal Gear Solid 5 was actually a free game that I got it. And uh, surprise, surprise, isn't it pretty shocking that I didn't get it on day one. And uh, I mean, it's a great game. I can't say anything about it. Feels a lot of repetitiveness in there, unfortunately. But I definitely did enjoy this game. Just Cause 3 free game as well. You can see a lot of free games. I finished the gameplay. Oh, sorry. Finish the game, the story. Complete garbage. Feels empty. Just Cause 4, I feel like it's the, pretty much the same. I might get it one day when it will be in a very, very good deal. Maybe I'll have to maximum of 20 bucks. If, uh, if any higher than 20, no thanks. It's just not worth it. Until Dawn, I think it, I believe it might have been as well a free game. God, so many free games, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, Until Dawn, I've gotten it. And uh, I finished the story very surprisingly when only has 4% of trophies. Let me check. Yeah, only four. Jesus. But the um, platinum, platinum difficulty is pretty difficult to earn from him. I I will be honest and upfront I'm with you all. Uh, I am not a fan of horror games. <laughs> Until Dawn was an exception because it was fan fantastic. And I cannot wait to get my hands on um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Definitely going to be uh, live streaming that, by the way, uh, just so you know. Definitely. We'll be here on YouTube. Uh, Uncharted Last, oh, my apologies, Game of Thrones, 100%, Telltale Games, what do you expect? Very easy. Uncharted, The Last Legacy, played through the story. I did not bother going for the collections and the completionists, basically, you know, collecting all those artifacts or whatever they collect, just, you know, those little random things around the world. Not my kind of th uh, cup of tea, and I did not think it was worth it. I think there was something else that was popping up that during the same time, and I have not had enough time to play it through. Because I believe so, this came out in... August, at the end of August, I believe, so you can, yeah. No Blood was for a Platinum, um, the Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry was a free game, played it, finished it, did not bother coming back. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, played it, finished it, did not bother coming back, similar story. Middle of Shadow of Mordor, feels like shit, did not even play it, did not even finish it. Bell crap, in my opinion, my general opinion, okay. Rise of a Tomb Raider, loved the game, great game, finished it, did not come back. <laughs> Similar thing with the Tomb Raider. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Tomb Raider and the Rise of the Tomb Raider. I played those games twice, just so you know. Tomb Raider was on PlayStation 3. You should be able to see a separate list of it on the PlayStation 3 version of it as well. And you can see in here, uh, currently says PlayStation 4 version. So, yes, I have played it, I believe. Yes, I have. On the PlayStation 3 as well. The last was remastered. Played it like three times. Loved it. Cannot wait. And uh, for the uh, 
part two as well. Very surprised with the barely any trophies I've earned on this. And uh, Left Behind was a free DLC add-on on top of it, so that was very, very nice of them to do. Difficulty of Platinum is pretty damn difficult indeed. Uh, Mad Max, I think, was a free game. I might be wrong, but also very difficult to get Platinum. Just finished it, played it through, did whatever I wanted. Not my time. Now it was not dense enough for me to even keep on playing. It was a similar thing with the Red Dead Redemption 2, by the way. Just doesn't feel very dense in the world. Feels boring. Just riding around a horse is like, what the hell am I even doing? You know, it's just boring. Come on, I don't want to watch these people I need to get deliver to their uh, to the town. Always scripted around twice, three times that you get to experience. It's the same person most of the time. It's it's irritating to me. Uh, anyway, Tales of Borderlands, it's basically a Telltale game would expect, which a trade wild hunt. I have, well, I actually was thinking of going for the Platinum Trophy, but I did not bother with Gwent, um, card, card game, the Gwent, but I have gotten all these other trophies. They were, they're pretty difficult to earn, as you can see, the, um, the ratio in here, the percentage is very low as well for Platinum Achievers. And I have also replayed this game on PC, so expect mass effect andromeda i have actually played it through and finished it i have done whatever i wanted to do in it and i have enjoyed it i'll be honest but there were some a lot of problems with it as well like for example the animations wow deadpool i think it might have been a free game i might be wrong i think because i finished it i you know that feeling destiny i'm very surprised the way you got this many percentage of the you know, completions like for example flawless radar i even have made a separate video about it and showed you and showed how exactly to get it i've done it on a quarters and raid very difficult i've done it in first go though <laughs> but anyway um all the rest is just that i'm a very very big fan of destiny one destiny two complete major disaster in my opinion forsaken does step it up from it but i still don't think it's even interest like i got burned out completely little big planet tree just you know <sighs> Just didn't finish it because I'm a fan of Little Big Planet 2. I got in Planet Trophy on that, Jesus. And I was, and I decided to simply go back and visit, revisit it. Star Wars Battlefront 2 tr uh, trophies. It was a very, very good deal I got on it. So this is why I have gone through it and I have played it. And um, obviously, it doesn't have any single player. Uh, Adventure Pop. It was, I think, maybe a free game. Can't remember. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare finished the story, gameplay, um, nothing special, do not like it, it's uh, the multiplayer I'm talking about now, the story was very good though. Modern Warfare Remastered, I played it, like on the era of the PlayStation 3 on PC as well, I didn't bother going too far in it, into it, I might have finished it single player, I might be wrong, and uh, I can't see it here, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I can't, doesn't matter. Uncharted, oh, whoop, 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 Naruto Shippuden. I do like Naruto anime series and also um, uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. I did not think it was as good as the Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. As this is why I just finished it, I didn't bother coming back to it. Life is Strange, 100% completion. More of a deciding going there, deciding go up here. Whatever your choice is the outcome and the consequences that will be in, you know, inflicted into you. But it was a good game. I enjoyed the story, definitely. There's also Life is Strange pre-sequel, whatever it's called, basically, uh, Before the Storm, that's it. I did not bother getting it. I did not, uh, I might get it whenever. <laughs> Thief, I think it was a free game, maybe, maybe not. I can't remember exactly, but basically I played it, finished it, did not bother going through. There's too many completions and uh, the stuff that ask, asks you to do does not respect your talent. Infamous First Line and Infamous Second, uh, Second Son, sorry. I can definitely 100% go for platinum trophies currently because, I, as you can see, uh, uh, the percentage rate on these games is very, very high, and I was really considering a for platinum. Timefall 2, very difficult trophy. This one, placed in the top three of the Gauntlet scoreboard, took me like two, two and a half hours to complete. I actually made even a separate video about this, specifically exactly what to do. I even showed you, showed it off, and explained it. Mafia 3, um, I actually got it on day. One, completely regretted it because it also was a free game on top of that. I have tried to go through and get a 100% completion, but then I just like completely dropped it because I got bored of it. Or something else came in that time. I can't remember exactly. Red Dot 5, 
better game in my opinion obviously but it does not respect your time with the uh platinum trophy to to garner look at 0.1 percent <laughs> and the game is like more than five years now <laughs> Wow. Anyway, but basically, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 was also a free game, but I got it before that because Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is still, I think, better Call of Duty of all time. Maybe my my opinion. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online. I've gotten it. Um, played it through on this console, right? I mostly play um, Elder Scrolls Online on, on the PC, by the way. Some of the clips that you do see it's very early on in the PlayStation 3 era whenever I do end up uploading it. I have a few clips and gameplays and footages on a PlayStation 4 that I have played, so I'm very low level. But on my, on my PC, <laughs> much greater than that. I have enjoyed it, as I mentioned, combat is shit, but everything is pretty good. Even made a commentary about it, people don't agree with me, I can see a lot of dislikes, but that's just my opinion again. Uh, Uncharted 4 The Thief Sand completely love the game day one purchase I have made on it. Trophies is in here, it's very difficult to get, unfortunately. Walking Dead, Telltale series, we expect. Tell Clans' Dead Division, not very difficult to be honest with you. Uh, biggest regret that I have done uh, was actually making a purchase of the um, uh, what was the expansion pass, like season pass for all these contents, and I didn't even bother going through them. <laughs> oh my god, I would love to, love to get a refund, but it's too damn late. The Far Cry Primal, I actually can go back and get this Platinum Trophy for certainty, for sure, for sure. And you can see the percentage of the completion, it's definitely, definitely very manageable. But it's just a lot of tedious and uh, time-wasting moments in here, as you can see, like, like learn all skills, for example. Full Lap 4, love the game, absolutely great, love it, love it, love it. And I'm very... Like, I already knew Fallout 76 is going to be a complete disaster and failure. I do not do I do not know why people even bother going for it. I made a commentary as well way before the game was even launched. I think it was right after E3. I was making a... I was saying, this game is not going to be going good. People declined to believe that. And here I am. Standard correct. <laughs> as if I was... Like, I'm, being, I'm more of a positive person. If I see a game is going to be shit... I'm gonna say it's going to be shit. Don't buy the way for the reviews. <laughs> but the anticipation is there. People are wanting it. But, but, I do want to say something. Anthem might be shit. But I'm very hopeful it would not be. And I might make a big, big mistake of actually trying to make the purchase of the day one. And that might be my biggest regret. Maybe. But I'm still gonna make a purchase on day one. I think, I think. I have not decided on that. Uh, answer yet. Maybe you could tell me down in the comments. What do you think? Should I or should I not bo uh, bother with it? Anyway, uh, because I'm definitely excited for it. Uh, anyway, going back on track. Uh, Saints Row, get out, get out of hell. Uh, played it, finished it, did not bother going through. Extremely tedious. Sniper really dream. Did not like it. <laughs> Far Cry 4. Played it, finished it, didn't, uh, did not go and bother through. I can't remember why I did not go through to get a Platinum Trophy. Hmm. God of War 3 Remastered, uh, I believe it or not, I, I completed this in one, in one night. My good friend of mine, um, the, he came to my house and uh, that was like, wow, that was a lot of When was, what what year was this? Let me check. Uh, is there any way possible that I could actually check what year was it? Hmm, maybe I can check that. Oh, I'm sure there is a way I need to press something or whatever. Basically, uh, my good friend came uh, to my house. He brought this game, uh, God of War 3 Remastered. And I, <laughs> um, <laughs> so he went to sleep, and I really desperately wanted to finish God of War 3 Remastered, and I've done it in a full night, and I've completely finished it, and it was a ton of fun, I loved the game, it was great. That was actually, I think, as well before God of War 2018 version came out, by the way, so you know. Batman Arkham Knight, um, Batman game, expect, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, did not like it, but I loved Borderlands 2, by the way. Uh, Battlefield Hardline trophies. Uh, tro why does it say trophies? Anyway, basically, finish the story, good story. Uh, it was okay, actually. Not good. Okay. And um, I like the multiplayer as well, I think. My opinion. But it was not as good as the Battlefield 3 or 4, in fact, in my opinion. Again. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Do not like the game. Complete garbage, in my opinion. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Very good game. Love the, love the shit out of this one. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5, then, yeah, here it is, the PS3 version, as I mentioned. Watch Dogs 1, I have finished it, did not go bother going through the uh, Platinum Trophy, because I 
think it was a little, I can't remember. I don't think I liked too much because such a greedy tone, you know, very dark and it's like, oh, the guy lost so much. He has to save his sister, I believe, so spoilers. And um, it was too much, I think, but it was a very good game, in my opinion. Watch Dogs 2 does it better, though, in my, in my personal opinion. The Last of Us, PS3 version, as I mentioned. Um, I played it, played it three times on PS3, twice, uh, PS4, twice. There we go. Wait. PS3 once, Pleasure 4 twice. There we go. <laughs> Killzone Shadowfall was my very, very, very first game on a PlayStation 4. Finished it, played it through. It was fun. Nothing special, in my opinion. And I have tried the multiplayer, by the way. Uh, Battlefield 4, as I mentioned, very good game, like the story. Very, very rocky, rocky launch on the multiplayer aspects on day one, especially. Resogun, um, <laughs> I don't think I, why is this PS4 related? I can't really remember it, to be honest with you. Contrast, I was going for the Platinum, something happened. I drifted off to somewhere, I can't remember, to be honest with you. Call of Duty Ghosts was there. Uh, I didn't bother, I just played multiplayer for on PlayStation 4. Uh, and then you can see Gold Duty Ghost on PS3, finish the story. But then, you know, that was the time when the PlayStation 4 was coming at the 2013? God, it's been a while. And so, you know, you you pay five bucks and then you pretty much get a upgraded version, like the next gen version of it. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, loved the game, finished the story, loved it, loved it. It was a very good game. Definitely we'll get back to it again one time, maybe one day, one day, perhaps. Uh, Batman Arkham Origins, Batman game, good game, I liked it. Bat, uh, Payday 2 was a good deal, got on it, Pay, uh, played it, feels gameplay, controls, awful on controllers, by the way, did not bother going through. Central 4, love the story, quirky as hell, weird as hell, gameplay is good, uh, better than Payday 2 to be honest with you, the controls, but, uh, you know, it drifted off. <laughs> Dead Space 3, did, fun fact, did not like it. I have never played any Dead Space, not one, not two, but I have seen so many videos and people saying Dead Space 1 and 2, fan goddamn fantastic. I do not blame it, because when I've seen those gameplays, oof, very good. All right, Dead Island, Riptide, love the game, finished it, tried to go for a platinum, I believe so, maybe not, let me just take a complete all main quest compared to with the, any number of partners, okay, maybe not, maybe, uh, maybe there was something more to it, I'm not sure, an Arthur Stone Tree, as the guy, game that I was talking about, I think does it better than the fourth one, but whatever, Bioshock Infinite, finished it, played it through, I think I down on a very, very uh, difficult uh, trophy, yeah, yeah, hard difficulty, there we go, or buff, perfect, yeah, uh, finished it, it was fun, Never got back to it. Army of Two did not like it. I personally did not like it. Battlefield 3 trophies, I thought was very good. Battlefield 3 was probably one of the very good Battlefield games. And um, the other Battlefield I really loved was the Bad Company. Bad Company? I think it was Bad Company 2, by the way, yeah. Saints Row the Third. Love this game. Giant purple dildos for days, dude. Fuck, awesome. Tomb Raider. The Pleasure 3 version, I have, and as I mentioned, I have played the definitive version of it as well, the Pleasure 4, and as I mentioned, twice I, I finished it. I liked it, I liked it. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3, mm, oh god, not very good, I personally think. I will get the remastered version of this, because if you have gotten a season pass of the Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you'll be getting a remastered version of the Assassin's Creed 3 in March, I believe so. So that's good anyway. Borderlands 2, as I mentioned, finished it, played it through, and was good, liked it. Modern Warfare 3, something fell down, could not earn one last, one last, or two last trophies, I guess. <laughs> I think one of them actually glitched out, or one, or two of them even glitched out, I can't remember, but I should have had this a 100% for uh, completion for certainty. Little Book Plan 2, the biggest pain in the ass to get platinum. Sleeping Dogs, played it, finished it, drifted off, drifted. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, so was Assassin's Creed 2, finished it, played it through, just for that, that's it, just, you know, to experience the Assassin's Creed with, uh, that has to do with Ezio de Torre. Uh, Max Payne 3, fantastic controls, I do not understand why Grand Theft Auto cannot, sorry, Rockstar cannot implement controls from Max Payne 3 series, well, it is kind of serious, Max Payne 3 game, the controls were fantastic, why can't they put it in Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption, I do not know. 
Predator 4 loved the devil out of this game. Even played it like 14 times on a PlayStation 3. I have finished it once on a PC. Loved it. I even made it. I have even uh, live streamed it as well. I think I got rid of those videos though, unfortunately. I do not know why. <laughs> Anyway, EA Sports FIFA Football on PS Vita, just, you know, burn the time if I'm out there somewhere just playing it through. Little Big Plan 1, yeah, you know, that feeling I had, like, I'm not gonna go for a Platinum, it's too much grind. Uh, FIFA Street, uh, it was just, you know, I, I personally liked FIFA games before, like in 2009, 2010. Wipeout 2048 was a similar thing with the EA Sports FIFA Football on PS Vita of Welcome Park just to experience what the hell it is and uh, also PS Vita um, by the way I do not have PS Vita I sold it uh, yes Red Dead Redemption I this was not a day one by the way I need to tell you this this was not a day one um, you know like I have played through this game it was not on day one I think my friend I think he brought this game to me into my intention and I have played it I did not like it because the controls are awful and it's a similar thing with the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 um, I, I do not remember I think it was just there for a bit of like few hours and that's so all I could not really do much in it unfortunately Syndicate got glitched out could not finish it didn't bother the gameplay was awful Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, loved the game, was very good, finished the story, I definitely did. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, liked, I do like Spider-Man games. Killzone 3, good game, I liked it, it was a good game. Assassin's Creed Revelations, my personal, one of the best Assassin's Creed games, in my opinion. Because um, I love seeing an older version, like 40 or 50 year old uh, Ezio De Tore, when he talks with uh, Desmond, I believe so was very fun. Uh, Batman Arkham City, Batman game, liked it. Homefront, eh, you know, finished the story, that's all, not, not very impressive, unfortunately. Call of Duty Black Ops, I actually have such a pain in the ass to get a veteran trophy difficulty on the story, oh my god. There you go, Battlefield Bad Company 2, god, I would love to revisit this game, why can't they make Battlefield Bad Company 3? Damn, it would be an epic, I love this story, especially, loved, very long story, loved it, as I remember. Okay, uh, Burnout Paradise on Pleasant Tree. I don't remember too much about this, unfortunately. Street Rage 2 is a similar thing. Brink, I remember I wanted to go for a plan. I'm just, I think it drifted off. Can't remember. It's been like, geez, 10 years ago, maybe already at this point. <laughs> God, so this account has been with me more than 5, 6 years, 10 years perhaps. Wow. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Uh, love the game. It was very good. I remember that much anyway. Killzone 2. Loved it as well. I think I like Killzone 2 more than Killzone 3. I might be wrong though. Call of Duty World at War. Um, Call of Duty game. I actually... Uh, uh, funny story. I was very afraid of playing zombies because just, you know, horror games were not my real damn thing anyway. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just that. <laughs> It was, I was never fond of horror games, and I still am not a fan, even though I will be playing Resident Evil 2 Remake <laughs> in coming January to the, um, 2019 uh, on the 25th. Uh, Medal of Honor, love the single player, and I love this uh, multiplayer as well, I believe so. Unfortunately, they're not making continuation. I think EA has pretty much dumped, uh, EA, right? I think EA made, uh, was publishing this game. I might be wrong. But anyway, I think, I think they pretty much, um, you know, they destroyed the game, they destroyed developers, you know, like they completely cancelled it. And um, Battlefield 1943, not very fun, to be honest. Split Second was a birthday present, um, oh god, when I was maybe 10? Jesus, maybe 11? <sighs> God, I never was very fond of this, to be honest. Like, any of these games you can see in here, I never really was a big fan of them. Because I just, you know, I thought about playing it through sometimes. I was never a dedicated gamer. Whenever I had free time, and usually I never had free time back then. And I always was doing um, sports activities outside, working uh, on the co uh, not college, uh, school studies, homework. And I had personal life, and it was like, that time was like... A big deal for me anyway i feel like uh split seconds i mentioned but uh modern warfare 2 i think i do not remember this i do remember the platinum trophy though uh, i was a pain in the ass i think it was the spec ops the line yeah 69 shot on spec ops yeah 
I was a big pain in the ass. I remember I had 68 and then I could not get one more. I was like, oh my god, it's so difficult. <sighs> Wait, let's see the completion rate. Oh yeah, it's pretty damn... Oh, 2010. There we go. There you go. Now it does actually include the um, uh, the following information anyway, so that's good. Uh, FIFA 10 played it just, you know, FIFA game. I used to like them. Charter 2, very good. Finished it just for a story. Army of Two, the 40 days, um, nope, do not like it. FIFA 9, FIFA game, I liked it before. Motor, uh, Motor Storm Pacific Rift was my second ever game on a Pleasant Tree ever that I uh, I somewhat played. It's a similar thing with the Sean White snowboarding game. It was the very same thing. I somewhat liked, I played it sometimes whenever I had an opportunity or when I was not busy because I was perhaps doing some kind of work or homework or whatever, you know, for example. So as you can see, I have done a lot during the years. So it just seems like maybe I was on, with this account, almost eight years maybe something like that yeah maybe nine years nine years i'll say more confidently it's it's a lot of fun by the way as as we ought to see 100 completion will be popping up i do not know about the uh the remake of the resident evil 2 if i'm gonna go for a platinum it's a similar story with every other game coming out in 2019 and i will definitely make an update of this version of my trophies and what i have managed to earn for myself and the next update you can expect in one year, <laughs> the date of time. And it's going to be in January 2020. Holy shit, this is a big year, I feel like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Tell me down in the comments what kind of, uh, how many of these trophies have you managed to earn for yourself? And, um, you know, was it fun as well, you know? Because, like, what is your most accomplishment that you have done and uh, for yourself? Anyway, thank you so much for watching again. Like and subscribe as always. Check out my, um, you know, the 31st of December 2018 version of the video of my most anticipated games of 2019 and beyond. It's a very well done video. In my opinion. I definitely wanted to, um, you know, mention it more and more as, as often as I can. Anyway, thank you so much again. Have a God. Have a goddamn good one.